It's like, if you want me to, I can give you a better one, but... No, it's good. Later. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Zach, and I'm in the driver's seat. And I'm Juliana, and I'm in the back seat. This is Song of the Deep. And we're doing it wrong. Yeah, uh, this is a game that came out in 2016? Late 2016-ish. Uh, it's made by the same guys who did Ratchet and Clank. So that tells you anything. Uh, it looks really pretty. It's got a really nice soundtrack. It hits the buttons. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna die. A lot. Marin loved the sea. She loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window. She dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath. Her father was a fisherman. Each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky cliff edge, holding up a candle to guide him safely home. Because that's how that works. The two of them were poor. They were sometimes. Leaky, yeah. And they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be okay. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. Marin knew the stories weren't real, but she loved to listen to them. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. And her life continued that way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched for him all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again and there was still no sign of her father. At last, she collapsed into sleep. Mm -hmm. In her dreams, she saw him, trapped deep beneath the sea, calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. A desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted, she measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny, rickety submarine. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. Well, you know how the saying goes, if it looks stupid but works, it ain't stupid. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that, that doesn't seem to be the way to go. Or did that? Well, you might be able to squish shimmy. It's counter current. Oh. See? Yep. Cross current or anti current, I don't know. The world beneath the waves shimmered with mystery. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her. She horses! I got like nothing I can do. Marin spotted some odd looking old coins. Maybe her father would know where they were from. Look out! Heard of Provis. Way. Oh. Ah, there's a current. I found a current. I found a current. I am going down. Ah, okay. Maybe, can you grab it with your claw? I don't have a claw. Flickered and danced on the sea floor like an underwater fire. Save point. Her father once told her about a mysterious living energy called time. Could that have been a time wellspring? Hmm. Oh dear. Ooh. Ah. No, stop it. Okay, I just need to time this better. 
Damn it. Okay, uh, just slow. Slow and steady. Alright. Shimmy, 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 shake. Pause. Shimmy. And then shimmy. A seahorse made of clockwork gears darted out of the way as Marin approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious creature. Oh Yo, dear. daddy. Possibly. Ooh, can, no, you can't get there. Oh. oh, yes, I can. Cool. I don't know what that does, but that's nice. It's, it's worth five money. Ah, crap. It's okay. Give it a minute. Ooh. Ten monies. Five. Uh, going back. Okay. And again. And again. And again. And yeah. follow the seahorse? Follow the seahorse. I, I like the, that they're close enough that you can just grab it. Hey! Claw! Magnetic claw. Versatile magnetic claw capable of grabbing, pulling, and attacking. Marin approached a glowing scrap of metal and pulled it inside. It was claw shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. Yay! She took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. Oh, that's nice. Marin spotted shock nettles ahead of her. She had to be cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack Pick up her on thingies. sight. Pick up those and then toss it. Ah. Yeah. Drop him. Drop him. Yay. Claw also damages him. Yeah. But enemies damage me. That's metal. That's metal. Go away. Go away. That's also an enemy. Oh. That's a bomb. Go away. Oh, okay. I know what I need to do. Come on. Give me another one. Boink. Ah! Kablooey! Kablams! Save it up. A sleeping guardian blocked Merrin's path. Huh. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. Alright, don't wake the... The dude. The ocean dude up. Is there oh. something... There's something over there. Or there's those two here. Three. What? There's a thing. What is that? I can I cannot go over. Ah, oh, okay, that's bad. Can I come back? Probably, but you're gonna die now. I can't. Ah. Oh Jesus. Okay, yeah, that was a big one. Okay, well, that's not a good plan. Winging bombs out at me. Yep. Must never be woken. Well, you'd think he'd go back to sleep after a minute. Yeah, man. Don't. Come Don't on. what? According to Afar, Look out. Oh. The Guardians had been built by ancient undersea explorers called the Fomori. Fomori. Marin always thought the Fomori were a myth. 
Now she wondered if her father's other stories might be true. There's a gem in there. I need a bone. I need a bone bone. Where is the bone bone? This is not what are you? That might explode. The old statue reminded her of her ah. father's lullabies. Ah. About the brave and beautiful Meros. Got him. I fist it. Go down. Oh. Do not have a bone. Hey, take the conch shell. Or... Oh, oh! You stop that. Thing. Ah, no! Really? I mean, wing a starfish at him. Cartography paper. Hey! Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. What, why, hey? She's making a map. Yes. That's goodness. That is good. A huge hermit crab watched Merrin from a rocky ledge. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd looking treasures. We need to go get treasures. The crab seemed to like shiny objects. Maybe you would be willing to make a trade. Okay, so this is the shop. Yes. I don't have enough money for anything. Yeah. Good to know, though. Hey, look, one more. Two more. Map will always have. A oh, that's a current. Where is the map? There's the map. <sighs> well then. Use the conch shells. What? No! God. Okay, that was longer than I expected it to be. Yeah! Well, at least getting there will be fast. Yes. Like that. So it, it shoots in the the direction that the, the control stick is pointed. Oh, okay. Which sort of makes sense. Which makes sense. It's just, if you're I, trying to move while shooting it, it's hard to move in. Yeah. This is not a jumper shoot. Boost jet. There we go. Sophisticated propulsion device capable of boosting the sub's movement. Amidst the wreckage of an old Fomori vessel lay an undamaged propulsion device. Marin bolted it onto the back of her submarine, eager to test out its effects on her lightweight craft. 
They're back! Okay, so they're timed. Who's timed? Oh, the enemies? Yeah. Time to respawn. Weak currents. Talk to this dude now. Oh, okay. Boost turbine, double turbine. But I can get the concussive ball. Using the materials she bought from the hermit crab, Marin took out her tools and made a quick modification to her magnetic claw. Cannot ramp. No, because it's a... It's a shoddily built submarine. You can try and use the claw to touch it. Now you just need to get the head from over there. Yes, I do. Probably need to go get by that propulsion shit. <sighs> there we go. Hey! Got he did it. it on his own! Woo! Wow. Marrow. Mary looked in awe all around her. She knew this place from her father's songs. These were the lost ruins of the Marrows. Oh dear. What? All the, all the jellies. Hey, can we take that to the crab? Or, uh... It's not gold. It's just a piece of coral. Lantern jellies blocked Merrin's path. Although the creatures could be deadly to the touch, they were very shy, and even avoided each other's light. Hmm. That was a hint. Fiver sainted. Hey, Look out. Ah, okay. Need a bomb. And shoot. Oh, well, that worked out. I guess you just hang out here for your health to come back, or...? Or not. Or not. Shuddered, as if recovering from a bad dream. For a moment, she thought she had experienced her own death. But it had merely been the time showing her one of the many possible roads ahead. Huh. Interesting. That's a good way to do it. That is a good way to do it. Marin peered through the windows of the houses, wondering if a Marrow girl once lived there, and if her father had sung her lullabies about the world above. That was close. I'll take that. That's for damn sure. Here's down is the way to go. Mm-hmm. Oh. Searchlights shine between trying oh. twin beams of light in front of the ship to illuminate darkness and interact with Marin sea light. discovered two glowing lights amidst the scraps of an old Fomori machine. She attached them to the front of the submarine's hull, hoping they would help guide her on her journey. Oh, come on. Go away. Ugh. Now that's period. Color darted through the shadows. Well, that's that a marrow maiden swimming through the ruins. Hmm. I like how the little character in the bottom is reacting. Yeah. Ah. Shoo fly, don't bother me. Shoo fly, don't bother me. 
Something like that. Candle. Too small. Oh. Oh, 50. You might want to save that. Well, I made it just say save early, saved often. Yes. That is words of wisdom. Meron tried to speak to her, but the marrow raced away. Move quickly, dear. Oh, well, I have the... I know. I have seized the means of production. Shoo. Shoo. Go away. Oh, do dead. What? All this time with me is finally paying off. Oh, there should be a thing in there. Oh, uh, wait, they, no. they, they, they. Yes, that's, that's the get it. Ooh. He needs boom boom. Apparently. Power? No, no, oh, maybe that turned off the. You stop that. Conk show. It's faster to just attack them. That's something. Or not. Well, that was a thing in the background. Well, yeah. Hello, beautiful fish. The quilled puffer fish was not a direct threat, but it steadfastly refused to move out of the way. Can I grab him? Can I grab him? Grab the urchin. Toss the urchin at him. tugged at Merrin's sob. Was this a tiny vortex? Where might it lead? Okay, so it's basically just path travel. At last, the Merrow Maiden stopped. Merrin called to her. Please wait. I'm only trying to find my father. The Meru looked at her for a long moment, then stirred the water with her hands, forming a ghostly image. Mm. It was the sunken ship graveyard mm. known as Skeleton Reef. Could her father Classic. be trapped there? Probably. The Meru pointed the way to go, and Meryn thanked her. Yep. Okay. Whee! Before she turned to go, Merrin asked the Marrow her name. Call me Kara, she said. Another girl once called me that years ago. She said it means friend. Ah. What is Glowy? What is Glowy then? What is this Glowy? Well, that's not a way. I think there's something in there. But there is definitely know. something in there. You just need to go. Oh, you gotta, you gotta hook I'm shape. gonna talk to Doodan. A goo? Yes. Let's get that. Or... Burst to add a high speed turbine to increase the duration of the ship's boosts. Extend the range at which collectible objects are magnetically pulled to the ship. That might be helpful. Increase the amount of time energy that is automatically recharged. Increase the cause attack range by infusing additional time. So I'm gonna do the turbine. 
which means I can go for longer. And then I'm going to save. Right, and And then... To reach the lost graveyard of ships, Merrin would have to cross the foul and treacherous region known as Watcher's Hollow. Can you, this can you was pop a place her father had never sung about, for the tales of the Watcher were known only to those below. Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. Those don't look good. Okay. What? No, I'm um, just... They are meant to tantalize and tease. Ugh. Avoiding the anemones. <laughs> Potentially. Hopefully. Ideally. What be down her? Yeah. Ah! Ooh, that oh. sucked. Not fun. What are you? Are you a little fish puppy? He's, he's gonna lead you where you need to go. He you looks like a little there. fish puppy. I like little fish follow, follow fish pup. Yes, I'm trying to follow fish puppy. Pops swam through the oh my god, he's actually a fish puppy! Heedless of their deadly surroundings. <laughs> Maybe they were tougher than they looked. Even the stinging anemones seemed to avoid them. Sweet. Yay. That's my way back. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave this here. I really like this game. It's really cool. I like the the look of it. I like the the narrative style behind it. Uh, yeah. The soundtrack is amazing. Yes. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys as always for watching. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment way down below. Let us know if we're doing good. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Little.